We lay down all of our baggage right now in Jesus' name. We ask, Father, that you be magnified and glorified in this house this morning, along with our brothers and sisters all over this region in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for what you're about to do. Lord, we ask you to lift our vision higher, Lord. Thank you for setting us free and breaking our chains more this morning, Lord. Thank you, Father, that we are, we are both set free and recovered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father.
yes you are I believe in you I believe in you You're the God of miracles I just There's a version of this song Keep playing Jerry There's a version of this song on YouTube and Bill Johnson gets up and he starts to explain the song. The song was written by a young man who just lost his baby. And I'm just basically going to repeat what Bill said because it's so powerful. talks about a man who is being tormented by the enemy, just being tormented and harassed. And the man took two chairs and he sat them across from each other in a room. And he said, devil, sit down. I'm going to worship God and you're going to watch me. <laughs> yes. And I just think that's so powerful that in the presence of our enemy, we worship. We raise hallelujah. We worship. And so just like Bill said, I think we should sing it again. <laughs> I do. I think we should see it again. And we just want to encourage you, those things that, that are just, that, those mountains, those things that are just blocking you, those things that we just can't get over, I just want to encourage you to just hold them in front of you and look at them boldly while you sing this, while you sing this to him. They're going to watch you worship God. They're going to watch you worship God. I'm just going to add a scripture that was on my heart when I was learning this song this week. It's Romans 8, 32. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who should not spare his own son, but deliver him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? And later in there, in 37, it says, Yet in all of these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I uh, came home from vacation a week ago, and a couple different things were told to me, like the moment I got into town, it felt like, and it just shook me. And I kind of asked God why. And he just kind of gently said, just believe in me. Believe that my plan for you cannot be shaken. That nothing in this planet, nothing in this world, nothing in this universe can separate you from the plan I have for you. And I just want to encourage anyone who has those moments, just believe in him. Just have faith. I'm going to need some help singing this, so <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God. I believe in you, I believe in you, you're the God of miracles, I believe in you, I believe in you, you're the God of I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. Yes, you are. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you, I believe. 
worthy of every song we could ever see worthy of all the praise we could ever breathe worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live for you jesus 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 the name above every other name jesus the only one you could ever see worthy of every breath we could ever breathe we live
Dan's going to go through a uh, procedure on Wednesday. It's uh, it's uh, it's good that God loves him. Nobody nobody responded with you. Hey, uh, if you love Dan, you want to pray for him. Why don't you come up? Let's pray real quick. Father, you know everything from beginning to end. You are the one who created us. There's nothing that has slipped past you. There's nothing that you've not seen. And you've already prepared a way through this thing for Dan. So we ask for peace. 
Lord, and a glad to both. That there would be a peace that passes understanding that would guard their hearts and their minds in you. Or guard their hearts and their minds through this. We come against any fear that may creep in. And we say, fear, you have no place here. This is a place of confidence. This is a place of trust. And we will trust in God. We will put our faith in Him. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Just, uh, just, just be with Dan. And, and, and the things that are unknown, uh, those are the things that scare us. So, Lord, in, in those places, assure him that you're right there. Show him that, that there's, there, there's nothing amiss. There's nothing out of place with you. Thank you for allowing us to put our confidence in you. Because of your great faithfulness, we know we can have that confidence. We know that you are the God who does exceedingly, abundantly, beyond anything we can ask or imagine. So Lord, we ask that you would go beyond what we imagine in this. That you would go beyond what we can think or ask. Lord, you know the things that we don't even know to ask. We say, would you answer those questions? Would you answer those things for us? We ask all of this in your name. Amen. Amen. Hey, um, if you're here this morning and you've got something going on, it could be an intestinal thing, digestive thing, but there's just some discomfort on the left side of your body, and you don't have to limit it to that. Maybe it's just a stomach thing. If that's you, and I can pray for you, I just want you to stand up. Jill, uh, Jill would you come over here with Darlene? Anybody else? You don't have to limit it to uh, the the left side. It just it can be a stomach thing, but I just I you know if you've got faith, <laughs> it's great. Those of you that that's that that's you, can you could just go over here with this happy little group right here? Yeah, I know, I know. Let me do this. I know what I'm doing. I'm a pro. How many, how many of you, it is, a le, it is the left side? Just just one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. Okay. So I don't know exactly what that is, but can we just get some folks? Listen. Listen. Just, yeah, just stretch just stretch your hand and just just agree with me. And Lord, um, and Lord, I just believe that you pointed this out for a reason. We agree with heaven's desire. We agree, Lord with what you want to do. God, would you touch your daughters in the name of Jesus Christ? Everything that's crooked, God, would you make it straight? Where healing needs to happen, God, would you bring healing? Let the, the power of Jesus Christ and his healing come upon them in Jesus' name. We do take authority over the pain and discomfort. We send it to the cross of Jesus Christ and bind it there. We render it silent, inoperable, and powerless. But Lord, would you reach deep on the inside and would you correct everything that needs to be corrected? 
We pray that the power of the healing presence of Jesus would just fall upon them. Uh, just right under the left rib cage, God, would you begin to minister to that area? Right under the, the left rib cage, God. Whether it's an intestinal thing, a digestive thing, God, whatever that is, God, would you straighten everything? Would you bring everything into alignment with your perfect word? We ask you for health and healing and wholeness. And if the enemy in any way has his hands in this, God, we cut that off in the name of Jesus Christ. We cut off every assignment of the wicked one in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I don't know, back in November, I had hurt myself at work, and I had a few people, ladies and brothers, pray for me back there. Um, I had pictures here from a doctor's office that I had pinched my fourth and fifth vertebrae closed, and I had pain in my shoulder all the way down, no thing. And that day, I really felt relief, and I went home and probably did too much. But anyway, I had the pain back, and I was really struggling to believe what I really felt happened, because, like I said, I didn't really get a word or anything, but just the presence on me. But anyway, this last Tuesday, um, I was scheduled for an MRI in Vancouver for possible surgery because of this. Well, I got in there, and the doctor met with me, and he says he couldn't find anything wrong with my neck at all, other than just my age bones, you know. But I still had the pain, you know, a muscle, you know, he said I probably still have some muscle stuff but you know that's pretty much gone as long as I don't overdo it so I guess when you turn 66 you're supposed to not overdo it too much but I don't know I don't know anyway um, God healed me because I saw the x-rays I took the x-rays with me and it showed that they were pinched that he said he couldn't find anything wrong so no surgery